Hi guys, it's Jimmy from the podcast. Here's a highlight from a recent episode. This week I sat down with songwriter Jonas Myron. My favorite songs, they have all come out of relationship. So with someone, you know, talking about Redman, for example, it's such a, such a good, um, you know, testimony to, to friendship. And actually, I would say that Matt was more a friend than a collaborator from the beginning. Like, we actually built a very strong friendship for years. And I just love him and Beth and the kids so much. Like, we, I mean, they really, they became like, I don't know, just God sent into my life in a way. Uh, so it wasn't built around songs. It wasn't built around albums. It was built on, on just this deep cause to deep friendship that just inspired me to want to go deeper into the to the Lord and go higher and and just doing life together because they were really there for me when in some dark moments too and in some really challenging times and and we had built a lot of trust over the years. So then when Matt asked me one day, hey, we should write something. I was like, yeah? He goes, yeah, why not? We should just do it. <laughs> and We're hanging that, out anyway. We might as well be productive. <laughs> yeah, and I was on tour with him singing a little bit. And so I remember, I think it was a Joyce Meyer conference and uh, backstage, um, there was a little piano and we wrote uh, You Alone Can Rescue. It was the first song we wrote together. Wow. And, uh, first song first song then not Amazing. long after that we wrote Our God um, and obviously Chris was a part of that too later And I'd, I'd heard some stories from Matt about so the night that the 10,000 Reasons record was recorded you were there mm -hmm. singing with Matt and yep. we're all in Atlanta yep. you know and um, you guys as often you do I mean y'all were working right up to the 11th hour just oh, yeah. finishing songs and polishing things and Talk about that particular song, because from from you know the stories I've heard, you know it was it kind of slid into the the set list right at the end. <laughs> it totally did. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy with Ten Thousand Reasons. I mean, even to this day, I I I'm just amazed, Jimmy, because I feel it's just God's grace. It truly was not us. I know that might sound really weird because people were like, "But you wrote it." Yeah, we did, but it was a gift like God literally dropped it down on us like it was one of the last songs we wrote for the album and it was a late night we finished it I mean I think it took I mean it was like one of the fastest songs me and Matt have written uh, maybe under an hour I think wow. for the whole song uh, and we probably both thus thought this song might be a nice little who knows, acoustic moment or bonus track. It wasn't, it wasn't even like, oh no, this has to be on the album. It was Nathan Knuckles, who really was the guy who, he was like, guys, this has to go on the album. Like, he was like, Matt, you need to record this. Uh, so Nathan heard it really before any one of us did. Wow. Because we loved it. We've like, um, we like, we, we just, this is so, maybe it's too simple. Like it has, you know, three verses and a chorus. It has no, middle eight or bridge or it's just almost like um yeah back then it just felt i think now we've seen a lot of more hymn like songs come in but back then it wasn't really a lot of yeah kind of modern hymns being written in contemporary worship so much and it was and so we thought is this a little too hymny is this a little <laughs> too like you know simple uh but obviously god did did his thing and and it just gave that song wings and even to this day I mean I we will get emails and um, Matt will forward me stories just when he's at leading the song still of, of things that have happened and miracles and from you know some of these stories from the you know, the Bali shooting to seeing the song you know being used in, in settings like in in mainstream world that excites me like I love the idea of you know that uh, we that worship is a bridge, yeah, and and that we that we can take this gift that we give to God as worship, but we can 
we can offer it and, and we can see him breathing it and we can see him using these songs, these simple little songs, to just point to him and lead people and and and, and show them just show them his goodness and kindness. Bless the You can listen to this full interview and all of our Worship Together podcast episodes on Apple Podcasts and everywhere podcasts are found.